Are you sure you should be mouth taping? Mouth taping is everywhere right now. People are using it to improve sleep, boost focus, and even enhance athletic performance. But new research suggests it might not be safe for everyone. A 2025 study published in the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine found that mouth taping increased airflow by 28% overall, only for people with clear nasal passages. For people with nasal obstructions, taping their mouths actually reduced airflow, meaning if your nose isn't 100% clear, taping your mouth shut at night could make it harder for you to breathe, not easier. And yet, so many breathwork coaches recommend mouth taping to everyone without checking if their clients have nasal blockages first. Here's what breathworkers should be doing instead. Check nasal patency before recommending mouth taping. If someone has frequent congestion, a deviated septum, or nasal inflammation, they need to fix that first. Encourage functional nasal breathing during the day before jumping into taping at night. Teach alternative techniques to improve nasal airflow like humming, breath holds, or saline rinses. Mouth taping can definitely be helpful, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. If your nose isn't clear, taping your mouth could do more harm than good. So before you slap that tape on at night, are you sure your nose is actually ready for it?